Hello my good people, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'll be cutting shotgun, flesh shotgun with half length. The, the down part will be net and the rider satin, while the upper part will be less. So I'll be cutting the down part first before the upper part. So looking at what I have here, I already folded my material into four. As you can see, this is one, two, three, and four. I hope you can see it. So I folded the material into four. And I want to cut a round, a round flip. So the gown measurement, the gown length is 39. 39 minus 16, which is the half length. I'll have 23. Then I'll be adding one inch sewing allowance, which is 24. So the waist of the the gun, the waist is 38. 38 divided by 4 will give me 9 and a half. So I'll be cutting this flare in a manual way. So 30. 8 divided by 4 is 9 and a half. So right now I will be marking 5 and a half all round so that I will measure it to know if it will be able to give me 9 and a half. So I'm marking five and a half all round. So I've marked the five and a half. So I have to measure it to know if it if it gave me nine and half. Then I'll make it round number ten inches because of zipper allowance. I'll add half inch on each. Remember, I folded the material into four. So when I add half inch into four, that will be two inches for the zipper allowance. So. What I have here is 9 inches, it's not enough, so I will now mark directly to 6. I'll mark 6 all around instead of 5 and a half. So I'll mark 6, then I'll measure the 6 to know if it's able to give me 10 inches so yes the six give me exactly 10 inches so since i've gotten the waist waist measurement i will now mark the 24 inches for the flare what I have here. I have 23 and a half. It's not up to 24. So I'll be making use of that 23 and a half instead of 24. So looking at what I have here, I will explain it again. The length of the gown that I'm sewing is 39 inches. Then the half length is 16 inches. 39 minus 16 will give me 23. Then 23, uh, I added one inch, making it 24 for sewing allowance. Then the waist of the gown is 38 divided by 4, which gave me 9 and a half. To get 9 and a half, I mark, I first of all mark 5 inches, 5 and a half all around, and I measure it. It wasn't able to give me. Nine, uh, nine, nine and a half, which I later added half inch for zipper allowance, making it 10 inches. Then I mark six all around, or I have here six, and I mark six all around. After marking the six, I now measure it. I measure the six, and it give me 10 inches exactly. 10 inches, I hope you can see it. So I now measure from that 10 inches, I measure 30. 
34. But the fabric I have is not up to 34. I only have 33 and a half. So I measured 33 and a half. All round. I measured 23, sorry. 23 and a half all round. So this is what I have. I measure it all round. I hope you can see it. This is it. All round. So this is what I have for the down part of the gown, the circle flare. So I will cut it out. After cutting it out, I will use it to trace another circle because I will be double coding the dress out. So I will use it to trace out another one. So right now I will be cutting this one. So I have cut out the flare. This is the down part. So I will now cut this area. So I'll now cut this place. So this is what I have for the flare now. Then the net. I'll be using this net on this dress. So I'll cut this net by 25 length. But I will not I will not be cutting this net in a circle form. I will print it. This net I will print it as a gather on the dress. I'll gather it on a on the dress. So but when we get to that stage, I'll show you how I'll do it. So to cut the half length, I'm cutting an off shoulder. So the half length is 16 plus one inch sewing allowance, which is 17. Then since it's an, uh, an off shoulder gun, I will my last half inch to get my, I will my last five inch to get my 17. So I've marked out my 17. Then to get my bust, my last uh, five inches, my bust is nine. So I've get my, I've marked my nine for the bust. So the shoulder measurement is, 16, 16 divided by 2 is 8. I mark the shoulder to the bust. Then my bo the bust measurement is 42 divided by 4 will give me 10 and a half. Plus 2 inches sewing allowance, which is 12 and a half. Twelve and half. Shall I reduce the clothes? It's kind of S sex. So this is my shoulder. This one is no longer useful. This is my shoulder. This is my bicep of waist. And my waist is 39. The waist is 39 divided by 4. 38 divided by 4, 9 and a half. Plus 2 inches in allowance, 11 and a half. Plus 1 inch for that. That is 12 and half. So I'll mark 12 and half. Then to this side, I will come inward by 1 inch. So from this 1 inch, I will curve my angle. So this is it for the front. Then the neck. I want the neck to, the neck to go down by 1 inch. So I will... I mark the one inch and carve it down. So this is it for the front. I'll use this one to trace out the back. So I'm cutting out. After tracing the back, then I'll cut the neck. So tracing at the back, I'm adding one and a half inch for the zipper allowance. So I'll cut it out.
So this is for the bar. I'll cut the zipper open. Then I'll cut the front leg. I'll also cut the back leg with the same back leg with the same measurement. So this is it for the front and back. I'll use this. This is a bridal satin. I'll use it to trace out the legs. So to call the sleeve, the sleeve is a three quarter sleeve. The length is 14. Then 14, I'll come down by four, is an off shoulder sleeve. Then from this place, I'll measure four, I'll measure five inches. Then I'll connect it. I'll connect this four to to the five inches, and I'll cut it out. Use it to trace out the remaining sleeve. Then after tracing out the remaining sleeve, I'll now join both the front and the back. Remember this is a flag gun. I'll join both the front and the, the back. So here is the sleeve for the boat, two sleeve for the boat. Here is the back. I've traced it out. Here is the front. So I will join them all. I will join it all together. After joining it, then I will attach the flare and my zipper.